Matthew McConaughey on a football sideline cheering on his team. It's a He's common sight. A and now his name atop a political poll is no longer a surprise for Professor Mark Owens. Not as much when we think about this in April. He was leading the governor at that time. Owens with UT Tyler is part of a team that surveyed more than a thousand voters between September 7th and the 14th. The poll shows McConaughey is back in front of Governor Greg Abbott, even though the popular actor has not officially jumped into the race. We specifically asked one follow-up question to individuals. We asked, if you, you, if you supported Matthew McConaughey, why do you support him? Um, and it directly came back to the question that people believe that he's honest. The poll provides a simple explanation into how a political outsider can remain in play. 54% in the survey believe the state is on the wrong track. The governor's job performance rating is also down to 45%. Well, one of the things about third party candidates and celebrity candidates is we love them in theory. They're great, they're fun. We think they're going to be the same kind of character that they play in the movies, and then we realize they're not. Political analyst Brian Smith with St. Edwards University noted McConaughey also does better in a head to head race with Abbott than Democrat Beto O'Rourke who's also considering a run for governor. This is the problem that O'Rourke has. He has a very, very high floor, meaning there's a lot of people that like him, but a low ceiling. He's proven twice that he's not able to expand his electoral base. In 2018, he had the perfect storm to beat Ted Cruz. It's a mid-year election with an unpopular president. He's running against a not very popular senator, and he has a blank checkbook, and he can't even win Texas. So in 2022, it's going to be reversed. It's going to be a referendum on Biden, and Greg Abbott is more popular, at least right now, than Ted Cruz. A key part of the poll is the big shift with independent voters. Abbott's approval among that critical voting block has dropped from 53% early last year to 30%. Many disagree with the governor's push for tougher abortion restrictions, his ban on mask mandates by schools, and the open carry of a handgun without a permit. While the poll is a red flag for Governor Abbott, Owen says he can bounce back. And it's also important to note a key factor is the pandemic. And that's not something a governor can really control. And yet it's something that we think, and he can talk about rules that he's trying to navigate um, these questions, right? Whether we should be required to wear masks in schools or not, right? These are questions that most governors don't have to answer.